what do you think about the uh, next hot take segment is LeBron's 40K. What do you think about that? So LeBron's 40K is more so, I mean, shout out to LeBron James. Shout out to LeBron. Um, he's just smashing every statistical category there is. Yeah. Um, I feel like how it was kind of celebrated, I feel like they should have called a timeout and let him have his moment, you know? But they already <laughs> did that when he broke, uh, where was it, Kareem's record. They already did that. True, but 40K is a milestone. Yeah, okay, yeah. But and if I'm him, I would have been like, yo, Toss, kick that ball <laughs> out. Like, yo, no. the, the, you know, my, just my, stand my in the center. Of, my take goes on it, okay, like, the NBA is definitely going to celebrate him when it's time for him to retire. 1,000%. Oh, that goes man. absolutely without saying. There's debates about whether MJ or him are the GOAT. He's definitely this generation's GOAT. That's or, unquestioned, yeah, right? Yeah. That's Nobody's come close to him. But... At what point does it stop? For what if he hits forty one k? That's a new milestone. Every point after this point <laughs> is going to be a milestone. So do we stop? Like what? I hit. I feel like if he hits fifty thousand, which he won't get to unless he plays another ten years, yeah. right? Or forty five k, which I guess can kind of happen if he plays five more years. I don't know how likely that is. But at what point? I don't think the game should have been stopped. I think at halftime they should have done something for him. I think yeah. which they did. I think they did something at halftime. Um, I think that was more appropriate. Stopping the game. I mean, at what point does it stop getting, okay, like he's already breaking all statistical <laughs> records. Like, are we going to stop it at 41 too? At 42, 43, 44? Like something yeah. has to stop. So, and with him, I think with LeBron, what he has shown is that consistency, work, perseverance. Man, that's the only dude in my generation who's had so many expectations. He's met he's every met expectation placed on an 18-year-old kid yeah. to be the greatest. Think about that. It's a storybook. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a storybook. That's why when he pops off now, yeah. I don't I don't even say anything. Because yeah. he actually said, and there's people who want him to fail. Yeah. You don't remember him in his speech, in his 40K speech? He's like, there's so many people that even, aside from his mom and his people around him, Maverick Carter, Rich Paul, and all these other people around him, there's people who want him to fail. Yeah, yeah. Who's him to be Don the greatest? Yeah. Especially when you had right before him Kobe, Shaq, MJ, Yep. Larry and Bird, Magic, like this guy's gonna come in with all yeah. this clout and kind of reeling it back to the podcast. We there needs to be a sort of humbleness, but also confident, confident, delusional confidence that we need to have in ourselves, right? Yeah. Because you always need to kind of balance that a little yep. bit. Because we need to be confident in ourselves. We always we always need to know our place, right? I'm yeah. not going to be like I'm the next Joe Rogan podcast. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Joe Rogan had a whole career. And I'm only using Joe Rogan because he's the most recognized name and yeah. he's the biggest podcast. And that's a statistical fact when it comes to podcasting. He had a whole career before that. Yeah. He put in so much work. So LeBron put in so much damn work to get to where he's at today. Exactly. Right. And that confidence comes with just, you know, like if you uh, equate this to sports, just practice and all that. And we just started. But I know the work we're putting in. I know the investment that we're doing. And it's like, we're getting to that point, or I mean, not so soon, but we know what we're putting in. So we're, yeah. we're definitely going to have that perseverance to keep going.